Hey everyone, I wanted to make this little video and harvest the bulk of this stock. I'm going to the dentist tomorrow to get a crown. And uh, I wanted to take a bouquet to the gals at the dentist office. So I would not normally film a video like this just on, at spur of the moment type thing. But I kind of had and was inspired by my friend Danielle at North Lawn Flower Farm and she's kind of changing her style of her uh, her videoing into a vlog style where she just she doesn't do a lot of editing and on her video and I tell you um, filming and editing of a video is is kind of hard and as a matter of fact I get kind of well I get sick of my own videos because I watch them so many times. And if you hear what sounds like a child yelling, it's a goat. There are goats being weaned here on the farm and they cry. Oh, it's so sad, but it's necessary to do. But goats are uh, their um, community animals. So when they're separated from their community, they, um, they're not happy. So I'm just cutting all of this stock. In my experience, this is my first year growing stock. And in my uh, experience this year, oh, I tell you, it lasts so long in the vase. I mean, this is not your grocery store stock. <laughs> and uh, when I say that, I, what I mean is, uh, it's just so much fresher. I've gotten stock in the grocery store before and it's just like, ugh, it, it's moldy and it doesn't last very long and in the vase and everything. But this stock, I tell you, uh, an arrangement at least two weeks or, you know, 10 days, that, that type of two weeks. But it's lasted such a long time uh, when I cut it. So I'm cutting it at the base. Stock is pretty much a one and done. And some of these are singles and some of these are doubles. So when this bed is completely done, all bloomed out, then I will take it all out and probably grow uh, pro cut sunflowers in here. But I'm kind of going to turn over a new leaf, I think, with my videoing and not worry about so much editing and what I look like on camera because that's a big part of it when you see yourself on camera you're like ooh. <laughs> but uh, you know this is who I am and I enjoy sharing with you uh, my gardening experiences and if I can help along the way or if I can learn along the way then that's what I want to do so that's my whole purpose. Anyway, so this is my raw, real me. Hopefully my other videos have been the raw, real me, but this is just me. <laughs> Unedited, and unless I like clear my throat obnoxiously or something, then I'm, I'm not going to do a lot of editing because I do have to do a lot of editing on most of my videos and stop and start and when my granddaughter is filming me, I always tell her if I stutter or stop and start or whatever, just keep going, just, just keep rolling and I'll edit it out and <laughs> she laughs. So what I'm doing is, as I said, cutting these, the stock um, at the base of the flower and then I'm stripping off all the leaves. I have prepared my uh, water condition, conditioning water See what I'm saying? You know, how, sometimes I have to think about what I'm saying. I prepared it with, um, uh, what's the name of it? There we go, flower food. I split a packet of flower food. I have two pitchers here. These are just plastic pitchers. So they have lukewarm water in them. And then I split one packet of the flower food between the two because I'm gonna let these condition overnight. I put a couple of drops of quick dip in them just to hydrate, help hydrate. I'm, I'm going to do that from here on out in all of my um, 
my conditioning water. And then I also put a couple of drops of um, Milton's sterilizing fluid. And that is kind of like a bleach type agent. And if there's any bacteria on the flower, then the Milton's um, sterilizing fluid will take care of that. Especially like if you're, when you're cutting zinnia and stuff, you know that they're one of the dirty flowers and you, um, you want to use the sterilizing fluid or the, the bleach tabs or whatever you use for conditioning. And if you're a home gardener, you probably don't do that, but I am a home gardener. <laughs> Basically, I don't sell my flowers. I give away the bouquets and to help people out if they have a wedding or something. But um, anyway, I condition my water. Whoa. Oh, I'm having a bird fight here. <laughs> the birds are just like, oh. So this will be pretty for my dentist. I have the most awesome dentist in the entire universe. She's great. And honestly, I think I'm going to do just stock in this vase for them. Oop, I think I got off camera. I think I'm going to do just stock in the vase for them. I, I, my sweet William is not ready yet. The Orlea is going kind of going past the white stage and getting turning the aged stage, which is really pretty. I could add some of that that greeny, greenish type color. I think this stock will be pretty though. Just like this. And I did see a thrip. I'm always wanting to call it a thwerp, thwerp, thrip bug on uh, the stock earlier, just one. And so I had heard from Lisa Mason Ziegler that the thrips, or she had heard from somebody else that thrips were bad this year, starting out bad already. So I hope not because thrips aren't fun in the garden. They kind of get inside a bloom and they kind of eat it all up and not good. Ooh, don't stab myself with my pruners there, my snips. So you're probably going to be seeing a lot more of this type of video just where I'm just like doing a chore or whatever. And if you like this, then just let me know. You know, I mean, it's really not that different than um, my other videos, but I do feel more free um, since I since I heard uh, Danielle just saying it's going to, and it, it, it takes a long time to prepare for a video, get your microphone, make sure it's all charged up, and look at this color this one well I have two of these you see that and it's just like a small bloom it's not very big but it's kind of pretty it's it's kind of off from the other colors here it doesn't really match but I'm going to stick it in here and the stock will continue to open a little bit in the vase um, let me show you like this one here. I'll get closer to the camera. This one here has a couple of buds that aren't open yet and they will open up all the way um, as time goes on. Stock has been absolutely great and so so fragrant. I love, I mean I'm in other parts of the garden and I can smell it. It's just it's been wonderful. Some of this is too aged to take. Some of it is, um, you know, went towards uh, gravity, whatever. That's okay. That makes it look homemade or homegrown. So, and as the heat ramps up, which we had a couple of days really 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 warm here and now it's cooled back down here in my zone 6b um, when i sewed this stock i started it in february and 
I planted it out around March, um, between March, it was somewhere between March 17th and March 20th before my last frost date, really. And I had my hoops already. I think I may have covered the stock like once or twice with frost cloth. But other than that, uh, it's just, gosh, it's just been so great. But as I was saying, I don't think I finished what I was saying, that as the heat ramps up, the stock will stop its growing and blooming and everything. It will be done because it's a cool flower. It's a cool season flower. So, ooh, this one's pretty, although it's bent over. See how it's kind of bent over like that, but that's okay. They'll be really pretty. So I'm stripping all the leaves, then recutting the bottom real quick and putting them in the conditioned water. I don't think I need two buckets, but I brought them anyway. Well, that's probably enough for, a, well, definitely enough for a really nice bouquet for them. And um, what I'll do is just stick a, um, probably insert a picture of the bouquet. It won't be anything super fancy, but um, it'll be pretty and it'll smell good for them. So anyway, thanks for being here with me on this new style. Thanks Danielle at North Lawn Flower Farm for the inspiration. Many of you that watch my channel, of course, are uh, fans of Danielle. Don't we just love her? She's so awesome. I've gotten to meet her in person and been with her a couple times and oh, love her so much. All right, friends, until next time, happy gardening. Bye-bye. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, gosh, love it so much. Oh, and it smells mm -mm -mm, divine.